cool if I could. I don't think I can. That would've been a cool thumbnail if I could've figured that out. But your girl can't. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my August Favorites 2017 video. I actually have a lot of stuff to talk about, so apparently I really liked things this month. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first two things I'm going to talk about are movies. The first movie that I absolutely loved this month was The Edge of Seventeen. I was having like a blatty day, so my mom and I decided to pick a really stupid movie on Netflix because we wanted something to like cheer me up, and so I picked The Edge of Seventeen thinking that it was going to be like stupid. But it was actually way better than I thought it was going to be. It has Haley Seinfeld in it who is in Pitch Perfect. I think that was like her debut movie and I really liked her in that one so I was kind of intrigued for this one and it was a lot funnier and like heartwarming than I thought it would be. Also the teacher who I don't remember who the actor is but I love every movie that he's in so you would think I would know what the actor's name is. I don't remember. I'll insert a picture of him here though but he's great. I love him in all movies which is what I just said so I don't know why I'm repeating myself. But watch the movie if you haven't already. The second movie was The Hitman's Bodyguard and this has Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson in it. It was a lot better than I expected it to be. It was really funny actually. It had you on the edges of your seat at the same time as like laughing the entire time so it was like a super good balance and I really enjoyed it. Comedies are my thing apparently. The next three things are all food related. Because you know your girl likes to eat her food. First thing is this Reese's International Delight Creamer. I talked about International Delight Hazelnut Creamer I think like two favorite videos ago. Me and my mom took a trip to the States at the beginning of August and we saw on Facebook that they had Reese's Creamer and we were like, okay, this is what we need to find. It is delicious. I also got a peppermint mocha one, which I liked more than this one, but I finished it and threw the bottle away. So we're just going to say that this one was my favorite, but the peppermint mocha one was my favorite. We only have the hazelnut one in Canada and French vanilla. And they're like $5. This was $2 in the States. Like, what? The next thing that I've been loving this month is sparkling ice kiwi strawberry flavored carbonated water. We also found this in the States and we didn't know that we could get it in Canada. And then we were in Costco. Do you guys have Costco in the States? I don't know. And they had a full case of this and mango orange and raspberry blackberry or something like that. They're so dang good. Like, oh, it's like you're having pop, but it's not pop, so it's better for you. And it's just great, but like highly recommend this. Highly recommend. Then my next food related item are these coconut cashew Cadbury dairy milk bars. My mom got like a whole box of them from somebody at her work and I am obsessed with them. They are so dang good. I just want to eat them every day but like you can't because I'll get diabetes but like they're so good. The next two things are like miscellaneous object things. They're both pop figurines. The other one is Rafiki with Simba. I didn't even know that they were coming out with new Lion King ones and I'm like obsessed with Lion King. Which leads me to like another one of my favorites. I got the Lion King on DVD so like ah, so excited about this. The next one is Eeyore and Eeyore is my favorite Winnie the Pooh character. I have Rue already so needed Eeyore. The next thing that I absolutely love is kind of like vain but I got two tattoos this month which I am in love with. My first one is Stand Tall on my wrist. Both of my tattoos have like a meaning behind them because I've always said if I'm gonna get a tattoo it has to mean something. I used to be like super self-conscious about how tall I am. If you don't know, if you're new here, I'm six feet tall which is like Amazon height. So my mom always used to say like stand tall, wear your heels, like it doesn't matter, be confident. So stand tall to me is like a reminder to be confident in everything that I do. And then my second tattoo is on my shoulder. Which I'll insert a picture of because like I don't want to take my shirt off on camera because like I'm classy. It's a star and a squiggle because I call my mom star squiggle so it's kind of like a tribute to her. She also got a matching one on her wrist so now we have matching tattoos because we're so adorable like that. I have to say that I am quite pleased with the turnout of them both even though like I almost fainted when I was getting my wrist done and that was not a fun time but I, I really enjoyed my time at the tattoo parlor because I got skittles because I almost fainted. My next favorite is actually a person and he is a comedian and his name is Scott Hireman and he is a bearded drag queen. If you know me in real life, you know, I have an obsession with drag queens. Like, I don't know why. I love them so much. I find them so entertaining. He was on America's Got Talent like two years ago, I think, and I recently found his YouTube channel and I've just been like binge watching his videos. I'll leave his channel down below. Like, I highly recommend checking him out. He's so 
funny. I love him to death. Like, just watch his videos and you'll see what I'm talking about. And now onto my favorite part of the video, when I get to lip sync terribly for you all. Yay! I have three songs that I've been listening to on repeat for this month. So the first one is called Uh Uh by Julia Michaels. She wrote Issues and I liked that song, I think, too months ago in my favorite video. I feel like a lot of people aren't gonna like it because it's kind of like weird, but I absolutely love it. So here it is. My mom hates this song because of like she's kind of off key, but like I can't get enough of it and I'm sorry that I'm not sorry about it. The next song is Strip That Down by Liam Payne featuring Quova, Quava. Something like that, but I heard this a million trillion times on the radio at work and I just can't stop singing it. So I've been playing it on repeat and I've like been jamming to it and I really enjoy it. So here it is. <laughs> final song is called Crazy by Kat Delilla. I love this song so much. I heard it in like 2015, like two years ago in my first year of university. I heard it and I absolutely adored it and I had my iPod on shuffle and I heard it again and I was just like, I love this. So, been listening to that on repeat as well. So here it is. <laughs> When I first heard it, I thought that it was Miley Cyrus, and if you've been on my channel for a while, you know, like, I am Miley Cyrus trash, so I automatically loved it, and then I found out it was some random other girl, but still obsessed with this song. Hey right, guys, so that was my August Favorites 2017 video. Let me know down below some of your favorites for this month, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!